Hello there, voice humans, and what do you do when you have a vehicle that has an excellent gun, but can't really bring that gun to many places, like the Yagtiga, which has horrible mobility, but has 4,000 PM overall with 460 alpha damage, which means that is a 6.9 nice second reload for 460 alpha damage. It's quite a lot. Does it have any armor? Well, it sort of does. The superstructure is very good, but in general, the top plate can be penned by a lot of premiums and also the superstructure can be penned by a lot of premium rounds especially at tier 10 so the armor it's there but mostly just for tier 8 mediums that can't pen you yep the thing is with this vehicle is that it is overall very strong in a positional play style whereas if you sit in one spot and you have all the targets in front of you then it's going to work great but looks here is also going to show us a little bit how to also deal with bad players but Obviously, this is a very unicorn replay because the enemy is, first of all, on the NA server, which uh, <clears throat> skill level. And second of all, they don't really play. But let's assume this a demo test round. Because here's the thing. The Yaktiga, it's not really built to fight T-54s. And in a situation like this, it would normally end really badly because the T-54 is very much quick enough to flank around a Yaktiga. And now with the Leopard PTA being dead... This is a very bad situation right here because obviously you don't have a turret, you don't have a lot of traverse speed, but the T4 somehow stops instead of keep going and also offering the IS-3 to shoot at the Yaktiga's rear because obviously they're attacking them from both sides. The T4 simply just stays in front of them and gets killed. And now the IS-3, after seeing the T54's demise, decides that he wants to fight a vehicle that has 4,000 TPM face on. This Sit in there sideways, and now look at that side centurion. He's not really doing anything. He's not really helping the IS-3. He's not charging and closing the distance, trying to get behind the Jagdtiga to get himself to a great position to finish the vehicle off. No, instead, he's just sitting out there waiting for the Jagdtiga to finish off the IS-3 and now deal with him. And this is exactly how you do not deal with a vehicle like this. If that situation were you, and you will be the IS-3 or the TFT-4 or centurion, get behind them attack the Yagtiga from multiple sides because this does not work as you can clearly see however if you're on the Yagtiga it works out absolutely beautifully and you do absolutely want to avoid situations like this where you have enemies in multiple angles in front you always want all the enemies in front of you now ideally you play a vehicle like this after you're experienced with heavy tanks after you've learned how to play heavy tanks on most of the maps that's when you can get something like this because obviously it does uh, make it a lot more difficult to play because they don't have a turret but the mobility is similar but the gun's better so you have to position them even better but if you've got yourself your 60 tp if you've got yourself your e100 and you're starting off this can be sort of a decent entry into tank destroyers another thing that can work is that vehicle right there the line to the object 268 that is also a decent entry level tank destroyer but overall I, I do recommend starting off with a heavy tank with a medium tank first learning those and then going to the tank destroyers because for a vehicle like this you want to already know the maps you already ideally want to be a, just a little bit more knowledgeable than your average player and that's not really that hard all you have to do is get attention pay attention how you get wrecked and then um well, not get wrecked anymore, but we're going to speed this up here because the ball six bit AFK, but 7.5k damage in the Agtiga. That is how you don't play as an enemy team. Very well done there to look. So now we go on to the tier 10, the big boy, the um, Jagdpanzer E100, a vehicle with only 3000 DPM compared to the Agtiga, but it has 800 alpha damage and also has the option to use tungsten shells, which does make sense on a vehicle like this. However, just like the Agtiga, it does suffer from absolutely poor mobility and the armor of the vehicle, great on the superstructure, can still be penned with premium ammo though, and the hull is pretty much an E100 hull. Shoot at the lower plate, don't shoot at the upper plate. The sides, it's the side of a tank. The sides of a tank are weak, if you don't know, but by the way, and that's true for any tank really. There's not a single tank in the game whose sides you can't pen with even the lowest penetration gun of its tier, unless you go down to tier 3. However, this vehicle, 
It's got the high DPM, it's got the high alpha damage, and it also has something else, and that is high module damage. Just like that. Ain't it beautiful? There we go. Full HP. If you got yourself a 60 TP, pray that that does not happen to you, and maybe also offer a sacrifice to Sobek or whatever. So, the vehicle really, it lives off its alpha damage. And the only thing you really have to do with this thing is get two shots and you've already essentially achieved average damage. So in that regard, it's fairly easy to play. All you gotta have to do is position yourself somewhere in the middle of the map, which is what I recommend doing with a vehicle like this. Position yourself in the middle of the map because then you're slow, but you can sort of approach both sides of the map equally quickly if the team's on one side then you can go there a lot faster than if you're going completely to the extremities of a map. So I always do recommend playing towards the middle of a map in a vehicle like this, just so you're not completely uh, out in the middle of nowhere, right? And especially here, look at that. The uh, ML2, he's focusing on the heavy tanks. And that's just a thousand damage straight into his side with HE, because why the absolute hell not? That is just lovely right here so when it comes to vehicles like this go to the middle of the map that's the most important thing but also learn your heavy tanks first and remember if you play a heavy tank and you get destroyed by a vehicle like this then you already know what to do by the time you get to this vehicle because all you need to do is replicate how you got wrecked because then you're gonna be the one that wrecks them so I guess the more often you die, the more you're going to learn. And now I was hoping for a double HE kill here, but unfortunately that is not the case. So with that horrible disappointment, that will be this video. But the whole re is still alive. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And the whole re, he should have subscribed because if he subscribed, he wouldn't be dead.